Okay, welcome to part two of the Amazon brand story. The first part, I was explaining to you how to research, identify weaknesses in the market, how to find hot selling products that aren't building a brand. Now I wanna to talk to you about how to do it. How do you build the social media brand for your Amazon products? First the brand, then you introduce products. <clears throat> so how do we do it? How, you know? So let's pick a product. Always start with something that's not doing it well. Let's pick a different company so no one thinks I'm picking on one company. These might be great companies, they're just not good at this. Uh, let's pick something that's not electronics. Let's get out of electronics here. I like to show real life case studies. Let's do supplements. Supplements are always big. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's one. <laughs> this is actually, this is an interesting example. Sugar-free gummy bear, hot hair vitamins. I'm gonna tell you, there is a company out there that's doing it well, and they, they partner with the Kardashians. They're called Hair Bears or something like that. And this is a knockoff company of that. Sugar Bear Hair, check this out. Sugar Bear Hair. This has built a brand that's actually known because they're number one best seller. That's not even, I wonder if, I don't even know if they're on Amazon, but I just wanna show you, this would be a tougher band to compete with. Let's look at their social media following. 2.3 million followers, so that's good. 5,000 likes on this picture, which still isn't amazing, it's, but let's compare it to the competitors. And they have, of course, Kylie Jenner endorses them and their social media goes through the roof. So this company here that's trying to compete with them is Hair Thickness Mac Maximizer is the name of the company. And I will tell you, this is a prime example of someone just trying to not build a brand. They're just trying to get one cigar puff off the success of this other brand. HairThicknessMaximizer.com, here we go. Not, not a great website. Let's see if they have a social media following. Yes, they have an Instagram. Let's see how the, wow, they have a whopping 65 followers. Okay, would I invest in this Amazon brand story? No, there is no story. They have 65, this may beat the one I was showing on the other video. Nope, they're hanging in there with four to seven <laughs> likes. Okay. Let me just tell you, we get real practical into this. How do you know what to post on Instagram? I'm gonna give you the three-step formula to building a social media brand. Obviously, there's more than three steps, but I'm trying to get you. If I give you 300 steps, you're gonna be overwhelmed. So the first step is experiment with storylines. Every movie has a storyline. Experiment with storylines. So if you're going to do, let's say, a hair brand, okay? You pick, sit around, be in the shower, go brainstorm with friends. What's this cool storyline? A storyline is like, Star Wars has like a storyline. It's a simple storyline. You have a good guy fighting a bad guy for the fate of the universe. That's the basic. Harry Potter is simple storyline. You have a good wizard or whatever versus bad wizards. Um, what's another famous, famous movie? What's one of the most viewed movies ever? Forrest Gump, one of my favorite movies. The, what's the sto basic storyline that runs throughout? This simple guy goes through the world and he's so innocent and pure that he almost like purifies the world as he goes through it, right? He's kind of like handicapped or dumb or whatever, but innocent and that's the storyline throughout the whole two hours of the movie. What's the storyline here? Okay. I think it's just hair thickness. If my hair looks good, I can deal with anything. Okay. I actually think this storyline is fine. But that they only are doing step one. So, by the way, you probably need to experiment with a few storylines. Because, you know, like, uh, if you read this history of a lot of famous movies, the original storyline, they had they changed it a little bit. They experimented with it. They tested it on a test audience. 
I think their storyline is okay. Get your hair thicker. Zach would like this storyline. But then number two, so you experiment with, let's say, three storylines. Then you stick with the best. Pretty simple formula. You do an ABC test. Now, number two practical tip of the day to build your Amazon brand story is you have to make the movie. Now, do I mean literally make a movie? No. But what are the parts that a movie has? A, movie ha a good movie has some suspense. A good movie has some drama. A good movie has surprises. Okay. And then step number three, use photos and videos to experiment with what gets the most likes. You're looking for, see some people say there's something wrong with getting, wanting to have likes. No. Likes are the same as votes. If you're running for the president of the United States, you need votes. You don't win without votes, either electoral or popular votes. You need both. Well, they're not really likes, they're votes. People are voting with their time and going, ah, I, and the votes are not looking good. If this post is running for president, it got three votes. Who gets like the least votes? Who got the least votes in the last election? Like Jeb Bush or something. Walter Mondale. These people didn't get a lot of votes. So you lose. So let's, let's practically pretend we own this brand. That we wanna go after the hair thickness market on Amazon. We've done our research. It looks like this company is selling a good bit of, look, they got shampoo and they're doing sponsored ads, so they're probably making a little money. They got tinctures, they have collagen uh, gummies. They got quite a few products here this company's selling, so we decide we like that. Maybe you were bald at some point in your life and you used Rogaine and you got your hair back, or maybe you're losing your hair so you're freaked out. It's a great way to build a brand around a problem in your own life. So you come here. So we need to experiment with some storylines. What I would start doing if I was them, notice this is the opposite of experimenting is posting the same exact meme black and white. I mean, this is actually a perfect, I'm glad I stumbled upon this for this video. I could not pick a better example of not experimenting. Sure, they changed the words, but I mean, there's not, they didn't try one video. They didn't try one picture of a person. They're stupid and they're not looking at the votes. Great hair will show up when you do at the party. Well, apparently only seven people thought that was funny. If this is a comedian, this is just, you're doing bad. This one's so bad, three people. I mean, three people. I know they only have 65 followers, but they probably have three people working at the company. So four people, probably somebody who even works at the company is like, I ain't even gonna click on that. It's so bad. Some things are basic, your hair shouldn't be. This is they didn't make a movie. I think the storyline is correct. The basic storyline is good hair is great to have in life. You agree with that, Zach? Amen. Zach is over there going, amen. Zach's always concerned he's losing his hair. Gorgeous hair is the best. Zach actually likes these things, but it's the, the movie is, they didn't make a movie. There's no suspense, there's no comedy, there's no intrigue, there's no different formats, there's no different shots, it's just like, Picture, imagine going to a movie theater and for two hours, what comes up on the screen is just picture, even a documentary, you would shut this off on Netflix if it's just like, I love my beard. Don't let anyone with bad hair tell you anything about life. Take time to, I mean, you would just be like, I want my money back for my tickets. So how, you know how easy it is to build an Amazon brand story around hair? I'm gonna show you an example of people who do it well. They're friends of mine. Case study, Luxie Hair. Some friends of mine, they started this. They became entrepreneurs. They're Canadian, live in Europe now. Let me show you how to do it right. Now they sell different products, not like gummy hair bear vitamins. They sell like hair extensions and stuff. But boy, did they do it well. I mean, they did it well. And when I first started with social media, they helped me out a lot. In 2014, they interviewed me. And let's look at their Instagram. Let's actually, so by the way, let's look at, so the founders, if you go here, about our story, you'll read about Alex and Mimi Icon. There they are, okay? 
So let's just pull up. So a lot of people, an incredible amount of people, follow Mimi Icon because she built. They build. They have a social media brand, but they also like a, an Instagram for their brand. But look at the one that she has built. Let's talk about engagement. 1.3 million followers. A lot of followers. This is the co-founder. Okay. Now let's just. Do they get good engagement? 30,000 pictures, they, uh, likes on this. They just posted it. It's not even a day old. 54,000. Let's look at this video. Does anybody watch the video? 260,000. This has more views than Louis Vuitton that has 30 times more followers. What is it? Bringing Latin dance back to our house. She's dancing with her daughter. It's fun. It's a storyline. It's never boring. There's new things popping up. You know, there's picture of flashback of them. There's pictures of them traveling. They travel the world. 40,000 views off the Amalfi Coast. You never know what they're gonna post. It's got a little suspense. It's got a little drama. When she was pregnant, it was like, the drama was like, is everything gonna be healthy? I could go back. She has some Instagram stuff, and you, they have a YouTube channel that just goes viral. And she, at the beginning, not so much anymore, she does a lot of the uh, did a lot of the videos for the hair product. 80,000 likes on that picture. Just, it's a luxy hair, and now I think they've moved on, sold the brand, and got another brand going. I don't I haven't talked to them in a couple months, but they just built it right. And years ago, I remember, in 2015, they were doing $6 million a year with real profit. They were just live. they lived the life of their dreams. They live the exact life that almost guarantee you want to live and that's why you join this. But they built it right. And if you go to their Instagram, I mean, what Instagram? They, they, here's a simple thing, they built trust. People know their name. Do you think anybody knows this person's name? They didn't even put their name on here. If I go to their website, let's see if they list their name. Let's see, about, do they have an about? No. I mean, you can take, you can compete with this. They literally hide their name. Never hide your business. Put your face on it. Steve Jobs put his face on Apple. Zuckerberg on Facebook. But Microsoft, Bill Gates put his face on it. So did Ballmer and so did Paul Allen. If you believe in it, put your face on it. Not some nameless, faceless models. And if you're gonna do model pictures, look how much better the picture, more well done, Luxie homepage is. What do you think's got better pictures? That's just so well done, well done website. It's shot like this is like a, this is poorly done. This, this, that's like they like cut in a Photoshop image. Notice how she's much larger than this person. They took two separate images. It's like monster head, little head man is here. They've got cannibal shrunken head man and I don't know, you know, monster head woman. No one wants, no woman wants a monster head. So, you, now they, and the good thing is this company's probably making money. Imagine if they know what you know now. So don't tell them. You can compete with this. You can build something. Make the movie. What do I mean by that? Once again, going back here. With your social media, tell a story. Don't be afraid to get personal. Share what's going on in your family. Do a video diary of your day. Post things that get a lot of likes. More of things. I see people post something that gets two likes and they post more of it. I'm like, stop. That got voted down, my friend. If you post a picture like here, I noticed this picture's with the whole family together, 59,000 likes. You know why? Because their target audience, when you make your movie, that's the other thing, know your audience. Their audience is women. Women put in hair extensions. Zach, you could start with the male. Please put in hair extensions. That would make my life complete. Oh, yeah. If you came with full. <laughs> but, but they know their target audience, who they're making the movie for. They have a little suspense, a little drama. They have happiness. Study the elements of psychology. Sometimes they post their food they're eating. People like food, but people don't like only posting food. They post in locations. A good movie, there you go, 52,000 likes on her in Paris. They use faces. You ever go to a movie and they just show, they just show images like that? No, show some faces. Begin to study, 
and just take the things that I'm saying right here. Make a movie. Let's just start listing them out. Use some videos and some pictures. Don't always do pictures or videos versus memes or something. Don't just do memes. All right. Um, travel include. Family include. Food include. Even if you're not a food brand. Because what you're doing is building trust. You're building likability. You're building staying power. I think they sold Luxie Hair and now they're off to another brand and they half their customers just come along with them to the next product. You see, more powerful than brand is a product. I mean, product is a brand. Once you got a brand, good example, Steve Jobs was a personal brand. And when he got kicked out of Apple, he just went and formed another computer company and then he formed Pixar, the biggest animated movie company. And Investors and customers just came right along. Whatever he wanted to do, they were in on it because he was a brand and brands have trust. So have travel, family, food, do some rants, what you're mad about. Talk once in a while about politics, but not too much. You know, uh, have some animals in it. Have some drama in it. The Kardashians are kings of that. They just like watch the Kardashian show. It's like, who took my red shoes? And like the whole episode, like the music's all epic and it's, and people are just watching like, I did Chloe get the, and it's just, it's like trite, but it's drama and humans respond to drama. Don't be afraid to share your sh sad moments, your happy moments. So I guess what I'm saying is diversify your Instagram and then double down and post more what wins. Please, 99% of people with social media, whatever wins, they stop posting. It's insane. But notice, you don't have to post only that, but notice Mimi, her consistently, what gets the most likes is things with the three of the family together, 80,000. So then she did it again. She doubled down right here. See, another one with the family and it got 105,000. There's a perfect example of doubling down on what works. But then, were they happy and keep post pictures? Nope. They switched over to a video. 365,000 views. A lot of views for only 1 million. That's like 30% of her followers engaged. That's crazy numbers. The Rock doesn't get that. Uh, Louis Vuitton doesn't get that. Coca-Cola doesn't get that. Then she switched it up. It's kind of like playing, if you watch football like the Super Bowl. If the coach always does the same strategy, it becomes predictable and you lose the game. A good coach, you never know if he's gonna throw, pass, right? You keep people on edge. So she switched over to that, didn't get quite as many views, but that's okay. Now she posts with her sister. Completely new strategy. And gets 61,000, so now it goes back up. Now it's just the kids, she breaks it up. Now she gets 340,000, I don't even know why. Oh, this is a video. Then she switched it up to video. See, then it's just her and her husband. Now she switches to her mom. Then it's them dancing with her, just the father, Alex, and the daughter, and then it's just her and the daughter. And see, they're just perpetually bouncing all around here. It's her traveling only. It's her alone, okay? It's, it's good, it's a good movie, and it's the movie her target audience likes. Now, if I was selling, you know, a vape, like something, I wouldn't use this same strategy exactly because your target audience probably doesn't wanna just see baby pictures but this works well for them, 100,000 likes there. It's amazing how good of a job that they do, you know? Flashback pictures, 122,000 likes. Throw in, see, that's another thing, flashbacks. All good movies have flashbacks. Most good movies have flashbacks to another time. Throwback Thursdays. Whatever you paid for this program, you already, these two videos are worth $50,000 because you could go through four years of modern business school and not one professor would tell you this. Not one professor. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I should just stop here and go, okay, that's it. No more video lessons. <laughs> you didn't pay enough for this. But anyway, I'm happy, to, I'm happy that you get more than you pay for. If you want a refund on this, you know nothing about modern business. I know that's cocky of me to say, but if it's true, it's not cocky. If it's true, it's just true. 
I think I'm gonna stop here because this is just such a good example and I think you guys get the point. I think anything, here they posted an IGTV. See, they're using the new features where you can post longer stuff. This is a preview of IGTV. Look, 431,000, bam, bam. Going across the bridge, bam. Remember that, Zach, that funny thing? Going across the bridge, going across the bridge. If you wanna see my social media, you'll see me doing the same thing here. Um, I try to practice what I'm preaching to you. Let's look here. I go here. So I've got a picture of me just like ca a video casually of me because I, I brought this car here to New York and I, I was just, I had the, the guy, it's in a parking lot and the guy's like, you got to turn it on. So I go, let me just snap this. It was just like in the moment. You have to keep these cars turned on. Anyway, so that's a video. Then before that, I had like a rant about how the education system is messed up. And I used a, a video that I found of this guy dancing in the Philippines. And then about how this principal teaches his kids to dance. And then I put a book of the day, got 80,000 likes. And then I talked about business, got less views, 300,000. Then I talked about work with me at a jo uh, job application. Then I post a picture with me and my grandma with a little quote my grandma told me. It got 126,000 likes. And let's see how many comments. 1,800 comments. Then I went to a, a heat game and she grabbed the camera from me. And it just happened to be fireworks going. And I'm in a Lamborghini, huh? You staged it, we know. Yeah, I staged it, I told Miami. It just literally, we were gonna film, it was weird. Then I posted, a, so you notice I'm doing the exact same thing. I got a picture with a horse. I bought it, I don't wanna just put car pictures, then people think I'm materialistic, so I got this. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm laying out a strategy. And this is a little uh, horse that I own, a Norwegian Fjord named Peaches. Uh, no, sorry, that one's Promise. I have two, her mom. Then I posted, this got 900,000 views. I took my mom on a jet with me. Then I was at the Knicks game and got 784,000 likes. James Harden scored, tied Kobe Bryant. Then I put a video of Martin Luther King. Then I posted a video, got 1.1 million. Man, I didn't even know this got 1.1 million views. I haven't even looked at it. That's my 10 year challenge. That's back when I got my first Ferrari. That's a little more than 10 years ago. I'm not sure what year that is, but then this was about 10 years later with a few more cars, right? So apparently people like that. I, didn't, I haven't even looked at this. Then I put a funny meme. Then I put a joke video. Then I put some Denzel stuff. Then I put this guy, <laughs> speaking of hair, Zach. This guy, this is still, this guy, you, know, you can put a marker on your hair to make your hairline go down. This laugh of this person recording this, it's just the funniest thing. <laughs> this Wesley Carr went on camera <laughs> and put... <laughs> He goes, I'm gonna die. die. Sir. Sir. <laughs> anyway, so that's, so I, I try to do, create a movie. And I posted just a picture of me getting a haircut. A picture with a quote, I posted a flashback. Look at this, got almost 200,000 likes. That's me, one of my second business I had started in their picture and there's my brothers. Um, that is it. No, that's actually not, that's my first business. I was there on the farm with Joel Salatin. That's Joel Salatin's lane. You can see the river there. And my brother Jacob had come up and Christopher and Ben. And pe people like that. Got a hundred, almost 200,000 likes. And it got 11,000 comments. That's a lot of comments. How am I not seeing this? I'm getting lazy with my social media. I had no idea that that had 11, that's a lot of comments. Then I posted a video with Steve Jobs. Make the movie, whatever product you're selling on Amazon. By the way, you don't need to create an Amazon uh, uh, Instagram for every product. You are the default as the owner. Put your face on your product. Make your product Zach Hairline. We should actually do that, Zach. Why don't we do it? 
Zach hairline and you got Zach on it and he's like, I feel like I'm losing my hair and use the products, make funny videos. Dude, you'll destroy this company. Really, company, if you're watching, whatever the name of your company is, call me. I charge a million dollars for one-on-one -on -one consulting. I'll, I'll fix your brand. Or maybe you can fix it without me. But you better fix it, because somebody's gonna come from you. You can't do it, this ain't gonna work. It's, you're gonna get a few cigar puffs. You might get a year of profits, two years. But someone like Zach, my friend, gonna come for you like a banshee and fix it and do it in a way that builds trust. You may be good operators, but in the modern world, it's not just about operations. It's about building brand trust recognition so that no matter what happens, even if Amazon disappears, you'll be able to bring your product to your own website and sell it there. Because even though we're teaching you to sell on Amazon, that's just the beginning of the game. I'm teaching you guys how to build a financial empire with multiple streams of income, diversified process, okay? So, leave a comment below to complete this lesson. What's wrong with your social media and what do you need to fix? Just start with your own. Maybe you're not posting enough. Maybe it's not diverse. Maybe you're not looking and posting, doubling down on the type of posts that win. I need to post more pictures of flashbacks, apparently. Well, I've always known that. I just, you don't want to post like flashback every day. I, post, <laughs> I posted like two flashbacks in the last month. That's pretty good. But maybe I should increase it to three. People like to know my story. You know, there's a lot of theories like, oh, Ty doesn't, you know, this is me. People are like, oh, you don't know anything about business. Right, this picture right here, I had launched a business with Joel Salatin. Right here. I got investment. We put $60,000 into that business. We built an organic or grass-fed uh, meat business. I ran it. Joel was my business partner, and it was profitable. Not super profitable. I made like 12,000 profit. He made more because he put the cash in. But I remember I took that $12,000, I reinvested it in travel around the world. I, I've been to over 50 countries meeting mentors. And that was because of that 12,000. So you can take a little bit of money and leverage. I bought a ticket in New Zealand, you know. I would stay in hostels for like 20 bucks a night. Back then the New Zealand dollar was real weak against, you know, I, I went for like a year. And I met other mentors. I met Bill Mullison, I met um, Gary Townsend. I'm, I, had time and extra profit turned into time with Dr. Gordon Hazard, who's now dead. But a lot of these multimillionaires were the foundations of what I then went on to work on later in life. Okay? Leave a comment below to complete this lesson. Unlock the next one. Part two of building your Amazon brand story. What do you need to fix on your personal social media? Start with Instagram. We'll talk about other forms possibly later. Okay? All right. Goodbye.